Hi, welcome to Simply NAS Media. My name is Sam, and today we're going to cover the QNAP TDS 16489U. Now, from the standpoint of a technical professional, this machine actually wears just as many hats as you do. Now, it is a double server, not to be confused with a dual controller, where a dual controller has separate motherboards with its own processor and RAM for each one, whereas the TDS 16489U is actually just a dual server. So you have one motherboard with two processors, but you have multiple RAM sticks on the particular motherboard. Now that being said, this machine can pull double, triple, even quadruple duty. I mean, it can run as a storage server or as an application server. And on the application server side, you can run VMs such as Citrix, VMware, even Hyper-V. While on the storage server side, you can either store your very important data, or you can even store data from a surveillance system. The QNAP TTS 16489U is available in multiple configurations that range from six core processors with up to 128 gigs of RAM, all the way up to eight core processors with up to one terabyte of RAM. Now, a really nice feature of this machine is the fact that you can use either SAS or SATA drives, so you're not stuck with just one drive type, you have a variation that you can use if you choose to. This machine actually runs on server-grade hardware that is capable of a capacity of 128 terabytes of raw storage space. Now with the TDS the 16489U, if you were to add eight of the REXP 1620 URP expansion units, you can actually expand the system out to 144 drives or up to 1,500 terabytes. A lot of information space, if you ask me. But the networking capability of this machine is no joke either. It's capable of handling either the 10, 40, or 56 gigabyte Ethernet cards. Now, the system also works with the QTS 4.2 operating system. So this way, you don't have any overcomplicated extra stuff you have to work with or any overcomplicated command line to worry about. So I know many of you technical pros out there tend to virtualize everything. And there's not a thing wrong with that. But wouldn't it be nice to free up a little bit of extra rack space and take out some of those additional servers that may not be running the most you know, critical information or the most critical VMs? Well, this particular machine is actually capable of working with virtualization for businesses. Now by that, what I mean is that this particular machine runs on a kernel level virtual machine, or kernel virtual machine is what they refer to it as. Basically, this allows you to run multiple different virtualizations as far as Linux, Windows, Unix, and also Android. Now, did I also mention that you can virtualize a physical machine? That's exactly what I said, virtualizing a physical machine. The physical to virtual option that QNAP has for the TDS 16489U, or a P2V as they refer to it as, allows you to actually take a physical machine and be able to virtualize the OS and a lot of the functionality of that machine to the TDS 16489U. What does that mean for you? Well, a lot of freed up rack space for sure. Another feature of the TDS 16489U is what they refer to as double take availability. Now, essentially what that allows you to do is take a physical machine and basically make a virtual copy of that physical machine on two other TDS 16489U machines. And essentially what those two virtualizations do is work as a high availability. So if the physical machine fails, then you have two basic machines that will actually work as an HA unit that can pick up and pretty much transfer back and forth data to keep your business running. Now for those of you out there that are reassessing your data recovery or your disaster recovery plans, this may be something you'll really want to look into. Within the machine, you'll also be able to build Docker containers, so you can run isolated Linux operations directly from the NAS. Now, with the Docker feature, you'll actually have a very clean, customizable dashboard, so you can actually maintain, monitor, and control many different containers from one centralized location. So what if you have machines or physical machines that you are running VMs on, but you don't necessarily want to replace them or completely virtualize them? Well, that's okay, not a problem with that. You can actually use storage features of the TDS 16489U to store the information from your virtualized servers or your virtual servers in general. 
This way you're not eating up that valuable disk space that you need for other virtualization functions within your physical servers. A feature of the machine that I found really useful is the Unified Remote Storage Management System. Basically this allows you to keep a, a dashboard of all of your, your mission critical devices that you really need to be able to work with, whether it be a computer or a server. And you actually have one centralized location where you can view this information. And the best part about that is the devices don't even have to be on your same network. They can be on multiple networks, giving you more of a centralized console to be able to control and work with different management scenarios for different machines. So while we're on the topic of being able to manage different systems and different machines, let's discuss another feature, QCenter. Now QCenter actually allows you to monitor and pretty much be able to work with different QNAP devices that are within your network. This way, instead of using the web interface for each individual machine, you can just go to the QCenter and be able to access these machines and be able to control their features from one centralized console. So remember that data recovery and disaster recovery thing that I mentioned a little earlier? Well, this machine actually has tools in it that can actually help you out with that. Just one example of that is the real-time remote replication option, or RTRR, as QNAP refers to it as, uh, would actually allow you to save information from one machine on your network to another machine. So let's say, for example, you wanted to take your information from a TDS 16489U and be able to back it up to another NAS. All you would have to do is open up the feature, basically configure the system to go from folder to folder on the different machines, and it would then have a backup of your information in the event you needed to restore or recover any lost information or anything that could have been possibly compromised from, say, a data breach, for example. All right, so I know a lot of you guys may not be constantly trapped in the data center all day long, never seeing the light of day. I know many of you are actually using mobile devices, such as phones, tablets, things like that, stuff that you may find useful in the field. With a function called QSync, this allows you to back up files and document information that you may need from a smartphone or tablet directly to the TDS 16489U. This way, let's say, for example, the phone gets damaged, gets dropped in water, something happens, or even if it's just time to trade in, you can back up the information back to the phone or tablet so you always have copies if you ever need them. All right, so with all the topics that we've covered about this machine, the one topic we did not cover is security. Security is a huge issue for most companies. And the reason for that, it can vary from severity. It could be anything just as simple as a basic intrusion attempt could be out as far as a major data breach that actually had compromised information. Now, granted, I can't say that the TDS 16489U would be able to stop all data intrusions or data breaches, but I can tell you this, it has the tools to be able to help you to secure this machine. It has items like encrypted access, IP blocking, it also has AES and I encryption on the system. Well, that wraps up this video on the TDS 16489U. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 407-960-4690, or you can even send us an email to sales at simplynas.com. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to subscribe and stay up to date with the latest new videos we have coming out, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.